Hi everyone, in this video I'd like to share with you a Shiba Inu dream that I had uh, in July of this year. So in the dream I was lying on my bed and then I opened my eyes and there was a creature that looks like a cross between um, a dog and a fox and it was a puppy and it was staring at me. So um, it, it looked like this and it had watery eyes and um, and it was just looking at me and I looked at it and that was the end of the dream. So I woke up and when I woke up, I was thinking about it. And as I thought about the dream that I had, I had just had, which was like a vision really, because it, it's like it was staring at me while I was sleeping sort of thing. And I woke up and, and looked at it and it looked at me and then I woke up, right? So it's kind of like a, a vision dream sort of thing so anyway while i was uh thinking about it i heard um a voice in the spirit and i heard this it says all the ones that didn't make it and that voice was spoken in an american western movie accent so if you've ever watched an american western movie the that sort of accent that they had in those days and so i and that was that and um and i, I didn't know what what the creature was i didn't know if it was if it was a a, a a crypto coin dream or what and um anyway long story short only recently that i've come to the conclusion that actually i believe that was a shiba inu dream and then the other thing is as well um i was always wondering why did it say what it said in in an american uh movie western movie accent and now i believe that he said it like that to let me know that um miss missing out that me me sharon missing out on um shiba inu would be like in the days of the western you know like in the western movies um when you know some people um hit it really big and, uh, and you know, they benefited and it was, um, they, they hit it so big that it was like generational, um, uh, what do you call it, G generational um, impact uh, of the, the wealth that they had from oil and things like that. That's, this is my understanding of it, okay? So um, this isn't a thus says the Lord, this is me sharing a dream that I had and I had this dream in July and it's only now towards the end of September that I'm, I feel like this is what the dream is saying to me. Now I'm sharing this dream with you guys on the video because I've had quite a lot of people asking me if the Lord had ever spoken to me about Shiba Inu. So I feel that I, I ought to let you guys know that I, I believe that this is a Shiba Inu dream. And I believe that the Lord is basically saying to me that um, it, it, it would be that, that sort of um, missing out. Because I've said here, um, let, me, let me read this again, if that's okay with you. I'll just reread it. As I was thinking about it, I'm wondering if it's a crypto coin. I heard this in an American Western movie accent. All the ones that didn't make it. And then I've said, as in all the ones that missed out that was how i received that that word that voice that that i heard in the spirit it was as if it was saying all the ones that missed out and like i said the creature that i saw looked like it was crying i'm gonna insert the creature here actually so i make that out to be a shiba inu um animal actually uh what do you call it a dog shiba inu so anyway, so I hope um, you guys are blessed this weekend, you know, um, surround yourself with uh, real believers, you know, genuine people who are, who are contending for the things of God, people who are seeking the things of God, you know. And um, I, f I feel like we're now at a time where you need to start separating yourself from um, Christians who are not... Um, after the things of God, because there is, we've now entered into a time of the separation, yeah? There is separation that's been going on for some years now, but I feel like this year, as we've 
crossed into this um, Feast of Trumpets and we are now in the Feast of Tabernacles. As we've, now, as we've entered into this season now, I believe that, and you know, in the, the video I made recently, I talked about how um, the Lord is speaking to the bride not to fall asleep, to stay awake, right? So one of the ways to stay awake is to surround yourself with fellow believers who are wanting to stay awake, okay? And um, d distance yourself from believers who are longing for the things of the world, who are um, refusing to strive and, um, I don't know if strive is the right word, but, but you know, believers who are contending for the things of the world more than they're contending for the things of God is probably the better way to say it because we have to go by grace you know you can't just cut people off like that i mean if if people cut people off like that they will probably cut me off you know because i'm not 100 percent there myself but if you see that i'm striving more for the things of god than i am for the things of the world then at least you can extend grace towards me and say well at least sharon you're not there but i can see you're trying to be there so that's that's what i mean okay so uh, I'm not talking about self-righteousness or cutting people off just like that. But what I am saying is those people that you've seen, that, that they're making great effort for the things of the world and rejecting the things of God. That's that's what I mean, okay? is those sort of Christians that Paul, the scripture talks about that kind of uh, believer and says that, um, in fact, Paul, if you read the letters of Paul, Paul is so strict about it, actually. I think he literally says, don't, don't, uh, what, what, what is it? He says, he says, um, ignore them as if they are unbelievers or something. I can't remember where that scripture is. But, um, but the point I'm making is that we, we're, we're entering into that time where there is a great separation happening. And also the Lord is calling us to be awake. And one of the ways to be awake is by surrounding oneself with fellow um, people who will sharpen you. Uh, iron sharp, sharpening iron, you know. So, um, yeah, um, yeah, iron sharpening iron, basically. All right, I, I better go and I, I look forward to seeing you all soon. Have a lovely weekend and um, seek the Lord about the video, the word that I've just given. Um, it's, it's a word, I believe it's a word for me, but I, f I feel I should share it with my, at least my subscribers, my viewers, uh, just so you know. But you need to seek the Lord for your own um, direction and confirmation, okay? Um, all right i'll see you all in a soon coming video take care now have a good weekend and uh, bye